So today I kind of want to talk about the sleep routine that I've kind of adopted over the past year and I've been slightly tweaking and improving over time. Um, so for context, you know, in 2023, I was going through a really stressful, really hard time. So a thing that I was focusing on was that I need to be in the best possible condition to deal with the stress, right? I was dealing the stress of my W2 job. I was dealing the stress of managing a 90 unit real estate portfolio about partners. And I was renovating both apartment complexes. I was selling my mobile home park. Um, a lot of you know that I sold my mobile home park for a loss. Um, so I'm under a lot of stress, right? You know, I'm working eight hours a day. I got a three hour commute. I got, you know, uh, family obligations, you know, things I need to do with my girlfriend. You know, just a lot of life is busy, right? Like there's a lot of things that you got going on. I'm doing my coaching business, building up my YouTube, building up my personal brand. So I'm doing so many things and juggling different things. So I knew that I need to optimize my sleep to give me the best shot to be the best version of myself so that I can conquer the day. Right, because you, you know how it goes. Let's say you you caught you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and and you really woke up. You're grouchy. You can't think as clearly. You can't make good decisions. You get become impatient. You become stressed. You have a short temper. You know we're not our best selves. When we don't get enough sleep, right? And that's why a lot of people have to drink coffee. I don't drink coffee at all. I actually avoid coffee because uh, it makes me too jittery. Um, it dehydrates me, so I don't drink coffee. So I want to do things like very naturally, right? So. For me, um, I know that I need to sleep at least eight to nine hours a day um, to get good quality sleep. So um, typically I wake up around 6 a.m. So I need to sleep around um, 10 p.m. latest, right? So 10 p.m. is the latest, uh, but I try to aim between nine and 9.30, right? So I sleep early, like I make fun of myself. I used to be a night owl, right? I used to stay until like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And, and, and wake up always groggy and never in peak condition and I can get away with that but now that I'm doing so many businesses and side hustles and and uh, putting my my mind through a lot of stress I need to optimize my sleep so I will sleep between 9 to 10 every day um, to be consistent even on the weekend right so Monday through Sunday I try to sleep at the same time some days on the weekend I may stay up a little bit later than usual like to 11 but I'm usually like so tired and exhausted unless I'm like out you know getting some drinks at a bar or going to like an event like usually if I'm just at home like me and my girlfriend are, are asleep, you know, uh, 11 latest, right? Like we'll fall asleep watching Netflix or something. So, you know, the first thing that I do is I, I sleep at the same time every day and wake up at the same time every day and try to stay consistent. So for me, it's going to be sleep between 9 to 10 and wake up around 6 to 7, right? Sometimes I'll sleep in a little bit later. Uh, sometimes I'll sleep a little later, right? So it, for, but for the most part, it's pretty consistent. Like most days, um, uh, sleep between 9 to 10, wake up at 6 to six to 7, right? Um, another thing that I do to optimize my sleep is um, I will wear a uh, eye mask. So where I live, it's a little bit dark, even despite closing my blinds. Um, you could do like blackout curtains. Um, that does help. But for me, I don't have blackout curtains. My blinds aren't perfect. So I do wear eye masks when I sleep. Um, it helps just block out the light um, so that I don't have any disruptions in my sleep and I'm not thinking about, oh, it's so bright, you know. So I wear air masks. Um, very simple. Um, another thing that I do is I like to keep the, the, my room very cool. Um, so if, if the room is too hot, then um, you can't sleep. Um, so I try to keep it a cool temperature. I live by the beach. Um, so it's very natural for my apartment to be cool. Um, but if I didn't, then, you know, I'd make sure to like turn down my, my, my thermostat to be a little bit cooler because you, know, you have a blanket and, and if you're too hot and humid, you can't sleep, right? So I have good conditions. Um, the next thing that I do, um, to ensure my sleep is I stop drinking water, um, around five to 6 PM, right? Um, so if I drink a lot of water, like after dinner, like, or after 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., I notice that in the middle of the night, I'm going to wake up and need to go pee and use the restroom, right? And that will inhibit your sleep, um, when you do that. So for me, um, uh, basically once I eat dinner, I eat dinner around like 5.30 to 6. Um, uh, that's the last time I will drink water when I'm taking my supplements and my vitamins. I have another video, um, talking about that. But that's when I stop drinking water. And I notice for me, my cutoff is around 6 so that I don't wake up in the middle of the night. If I drink water after 6, I notice I'm waking up to pee in the middle of the night. And it's disrupting my sleep. And um, so for me, I cut off water consumption at 6 p.m. And what I do is I front load my water. So I drink a lot in the morning. Right? So when I wake up, I drink a big glass of water. 
Um, and then basically I, I'll drive to work for an hour and a half and then I'll drink another big glass of water. I'm just drinking a bunch of water uh, from when I wake up at like 6 a.m. all the way till like 6 p.m. So that 12 hour window, I'm drinking a lot. After 6 p.m., I cut it off so I don't wake up to go pee. Um, the next thing that I do to help optimize my sleep is to exercise, right? So you want to exercise daily. So and, and for me, since I cannot do it in the morning, I usually do it when I get home from work around 536. So before my dinner, I will do like 30 minutes of like kind of exercise, you know, moderate to, to light exercise um, because it kind of helps turn off your mind, uh, make your bodies and muscles relax, and it just helps you sleep deeper and better for me. That, that's just kind of my uh, personal experience. So exercise helps literally improve everything um, in life for me, right? So for me, it has to be you want to exercise um, to, to help do that. Um, another thing that I do to help me sleep is I like to play like white noise. So I have a Google Home that I do and then me and my girlfriend will play like Sound of Rain every night and this is great if you live in an, I live in the city so it's a little bit noisier at night. So it's nice to have this like white noise um, for me I like the Sound of Rain because it helps kind of trigger I think certain brain waves in your mind but it helps me like kind of zone out like I hear a lot of cars, a lot of honking. Sometimes like homeless people screaming um, or just like drunk people going out and about. But, you know, I live in the city, right? So I try to play that to like drown out the noise. You know, it's very low volume, not super loud. But I like to do like sound of rain, give me white noise so that my mind just focuses on that and they'll kind of zone out, right? So like white noise does help with sleep. Um, another thing that I do recently is light exposure. So you want to set something called your circadian rhythm. So what I try to do is... Um, before 9 a.m. is to get my eyes direct exposure to the sunlight like you're not gonna look directly at the sun but like you want to be outside um, like right now you know I'm filming but you know some, before I film I like to stand outside as I'm charging my Tesla to get some sunlight exposure have to be before 9 a.m. Um, so usually I get here around like 7 30 and I'll stand outside for like 10 minutes just to get some sunlight exposure to set your sleep cycle your circadian rhythm and your melatonin system so I'll get a bunch uh, you know at least five to ten minutes of uh, sunlight to the eyes before 9 a.m., which is easy for me. And then what I do is the moment the sun starts to go down, um, if, you, if you're able to see the sunset go down, you want to be outside and, and set your sleep cycle, your melatonin system, right? So if you can do that, great. But if not, once the sun goes down, you want to start dimming all your lights, right? So I put my phone, my TV, my laptop on night mode. I'll dim it as much as possible, put it on light mode. And then what I do is I, I turn off all overhead lights. So what I do is if I want light, I just have a little lamp uh, in the back of my um, uh, studio and I just turn that on at most uh, to get some light. Um, you can do candle light as well, but I try to limit overhead light because that will suppress your melatonin, which is what makes you sleepy and helps you sleep. So I will, once the sun goes down, it's easy, right? Once it gets dark, so right now it's around like 5.30, it gets dark, but later when it's daylight like savings, it gets dark around eight. But once it gets dark, that's when you want to dim all your overhead lights, right? Or turn them off. So what I do is I just have a light in the back and then, you know, when I shower, um, so at nighttime I try to limit my light and limit my blue exposure. And then um, I try not to overstimulate my mind. So for me, once, because I sleep around nine, an hour before, so at eight, I will start to limit getting overly excited about things, right? Like I won't watch stimulating TV. I won't watch, like get overstimulated, overstressed about a topic. I'll just be very relaxed, very calm. Um, you know, I take magnesium uh, to help calm down my mind if needed and to help reduce stress and anxiety and helps kind of trigger a more relaxed uh, mindset if needed. So I try not to get overstimulated. If I am, um, if I am overstimulated, then at that point I will take a magnesium. Uh, another thing I do is I, I like to take a, a hot shower before I sleep or like a warm foot soak. So that helps relax you as well, your mind, your body to help you sleep. And then, um, Lastly, um, what I do is you basically just want to be very, very consistent and don't stress about sleeping, right? So for me, um, by doing all these strategies, it, it helped me optimize my sleep. It helps me be in a peak mindset. It helps me be at the best version of myself so that I can conquer the day and do what need I, I need to do for my business, right? For my W2, for my real estate business, for my coaching, mentoring business, for creating my personal brand on YouTube. So for me, optimizing sleep has been very important. Um, you know, I will avoid like caffeine because that ruins my sleep. I will try to limit alcohol because alcohol will limit your sleep as well. Hel alcohol helps you go to sleep. Um, 
fall asleep, but then you always wake up in the middle of the night with a bunch of like, you're overstimulated, overexcited. So for me, I try not to overindulge in alcohol. Um, you know, I, I will drink like maybe twice a month, but not to the point where like, I don't want to be too drunk um, or stuff like that. So I will limit, you know, my, my, my alcohol intake in that end. So hopefully you found some valuable nuggets on how to optimize your sleep and the importance of optimizing your sleep and maybe implement some of the strategies that I do uh, over time to help you with your sleep so that you could, you know, buy more real estate or you could, um, you know, do whatever it is you set your goal to be. And also it, it's good health, right? Like if, you, if you're sleeping well, it's going to make you um, be in better uh, mental health, physical health, spiritual health. So hopefully you found value from this video. Please share this video with somebody who you think needs help with optimizing their sleep. Um, and post any questions or comments down below. Um, and hope to see you next one. Thank you so much.